Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we are going to talk about using entity resolution in an Alexa skill. And we're going to do that using a template from DabbleLab.com. So if you're not watching this video on DabbleLab.com, head over to DabbleLab.com slash templates. And we're going to be using this one here, template number 17. And this is a new uh, template that I just pushed out uh, yesterday, actually. And so if you click on that template, if you're not logged in, you will need to log in. If you don't have an account, you can create one. They are free. Just click on the need an account uh, link there. And once you're logged in, you can download the source code for the template right here. So you just want to click download and that will download a uh, a zip file and that once it's downloaded you want to unzip and this template can be used with the ask CLI so you can uh, just use the ask commands by, from your command line or you can use the Alexa hosted skills and that's what we're going to do today we're going to use the Alexa hosted skills to keep it simple so we just need this uh, the source code and we need to head out to the Alexa developer console and we need to create a new Alexa hosted skill. So if you're um, if you're new to this, you need to go to developer.amazon.com and create an account if you don't have one or log in if you do and then navigate to the Alexa developer console. And once you're there, you want to create a skill and we're going to call this skill sentiment words. And it's a custom skill, and we're going to use the Alexa hosted for J uh, no JS option there. And then create skill. And then when you're prompted, you want to just leave the default, the hello world skill template. We're going to overwrite that, but go ahead and start that. And while this is um, building or creating or setting up whatever, uh, let me talk through what this skill does and, and what the, the point of this tutorial is. So. Let's pretend that we've been hired to create a skill for a business that wants to use Alexa to gauge customer sentiment. And we're gonna keep it simple that the customer just wants to prompt the user for a single word that they'd use to describe how they feel about the our client's company. So uh, the words used will then be uh, associated to a sentiment score and the score will be a score of one to five. And the score will be used to determine how Alexa responds back to the word that the user says. And then if this were a real skill, this is this is not a complete skill. This skill is really just an example for um, showing you how you would work with entity resolution in an Alexa skill. But if it was a real skill, we'd probably also use that to, uh, to store in a database and do reporting and that kind of thing. So, um, Maybe, for example, if a user responds with a word that is associated with a, uh, a score of five on the response, Alexa might say something uh, positive, like, I'm so happy to hear that. And if they respond with a one, of course, that wouldn't be the response. And so that's what we're going to use to illustrate what entity resolution is, uh, is all about. And essentially, what entity resolution does is it allows you to um, associate something that a user says with some other uh, uh, meaning. So it could be that they say a word and you associate that with a number, which is what we're gonna be doing. Um, or you could have like synonyms where the user says one word and you associate it with another word. And so let's um, let's get into it and I'll show you what the, uh, the template's doing and we can talk about it a little bit more. So once the skill is done being set up, the hosted skill, which it is right now, we're just gonna want to change out the uh, the interaction model, so the default interaction model. And you can do that by going down here to the uh, JSON editor. And you can either copy and paste the code from the interaction model in the template, or you can just uh, navigate. And if I go to the downloads, where is it here? And you wanna go into the models and then the EN US model here is the one that we're using and um, you can see the invocation name is sentiment word. And so I think I called it words plural, but that's not gonna make a difference uh, once we build this. So that's how we're gonna invoke the skill. We're gonna save the, uh, the model and we'll build the model. And while that's building, we'll go also 
uh, set up the code. And so to do that, we want to head over to the go code tab here. And we're going to basically replace all of this code with the code from the template. And then I'll tell you what's going on in there. So let's go over here. It is in the Lambda folder and then custom. And then um, the, let's see, index.js is what we need. And you can open that with any text editor. I'll just open it with text edit for right now. And select all of that and copy it and close it. And go back over here and select all of the code in the index file and then just paste in the code from the template. And then save it and deploy it. And at this point, once it's done deploying, the, uh, the template should be all set up and ready to test. And we'll test it and then I'll come back and talk about uh, the entity resolution and what's uh, what's happening here. So we'll go over here and if you're prompted allow, I'm gonna use the microphone for testing. And then you wanna toggle on testing for development like that. And make sure my Alexa's turned off here. Let's say open sentiment word. What is one word you'd use to describe our business? Pretty good. I'm so happy to hear that. On a scale of 1 to 5 we think good is a 4. That tells us we're on the right track. Thanks so much for your feedback. And then we'll try something different. Open sentiment word. What is one word you'd use to describe our business? Bad. I'm not sure what that means. Could you say that another way? Terrible. I'm very sorry to hear that. On a scale of 1 to 5 we think terrible is a 1. We really need to improve. Thanks for your honest feedback. And then we'll try one more. Open sentiment word. What is one word you'd use to describe our business? Awesome. Thanks so much. On a scale of 1 to 5, we think awesome is a 5. That tells us we need to keep doing what we're doing. Thanks again for your feedback. So you get the idea. It's a, it's a pretty simple skill, but what's making it work is the, uh, the entity resolution, which is the uh, ability to associate the, the words that um, are the, the feedback words, good, bad, crappy, all, all of the words that you might want to use with some score and that is being done if you go into the skill code um, to this uh, line 22 here the the rating handler and you look in here well it, actually there's two parts to it there's setting up the um, in the interaction model let's actually take a look at that So in the interaction model, there is a, an intent that was created called the ratings intent. And then there is a slot type, a custom slot type that is set up um, called ratings. And if you're not familiar with um, setting up slot types and slots, there, there's tutorials that, uh, that I've done on, on both of these topics. If you head over to dabblelab.com slash tutorials and then click on the uh, the Alexa tutorials and there's a search uh, input there just search for slots in intents and there's uh, multiple tutorials on this this topic but if you look in here um, we've got a custom slot type with values one two three four five you can also set up an ID it's optional but I set that up here and then um, there's synonyms that were created for each one of these numeric values. So for one, awful, terrible, crappy, and we could add more, of course. And, uh, and for two, uh, slow, disorganized, frustrating, uh, and then three, okay, decent, acceptable. And so for each one of these, we would want to recognize a word and associate it with one of the, uh, uh, the, the numeric values on the... Um, I guess sentiment scale uh, that we're using, and uh, and that is how we set up the interaction model on the back end. The code here's what's going on here. So um, here, this the the rating intent 
handler is what's handling that uh, that intent. And basically it's this line 37 here. So what we're doing is we're we're getting the um, the checking to see if there is a, uh, a match for uh, success and I should have shown that in the test. Let me do that real quick. Okay. Open sentiment word. What is one word you'd use to describe our business? Great. I'm not sure what that means. Could you say that another way? Awesome. Thanks so much. On a scale of 1 to 5 we think awesome is a 5. That tells us we need to keep doing what we're doing. Thanks again for your feedback. So I'd want to go and add great in uh, that, uh, that custom ratings uh, slot type to make sure that that is recognized. But um, here's what's happening in the request. You can see down here, there's this um, success. That means that the, uh, what the user said was matched with one of the, uh, the, the values and so you get the name of the value back with that re request. So the, the value in the slot that was what the user said, which is awesome. And that does match. So we get this code here, the uh, ER underscore success underscore match. And then we get the details about that, the name and the ID. And I could have used something different for uh, the name, um, the ID I could have also, but um, uh, this is what we're using here. So in the uh, resolution status, we're looking for the code match. And then where there is a match, we're just grabbing that ID, which is that numeric value. It's actually a string. So it's um, even though I'm using one, two, three, four, five, it's a string value that comes through. So we're looking for each one of those cases and then responding appropriately based on that case. So that is it. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but entity resolution is uh, an important idea. You would use this to um, uh, for, for a lot of things in a, a custom Alexa skill, but uh, for, for doing something simple like this, but also uh, you can use this stuff for um, disambiguation. So if a user says something that you wanna clarify, entity resolution can be used uh, for, for those kinds of things as well. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll respond just as soon as possible. Uh, if it was uh, helpful, please like or share this video and um, subscribe to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much.